Sound your foghorns, friends. It's me, Colonel Failure, and you're back with Transport Fever Peninsula. Uh, we're sat here outside the docks, like we have been quite a few times in recent episodes, in order to understand and observe the incoming ship that is incoming to get a feel for... I don't really know. I haven't, I haven't really thought of my narrative much beyond that, other than, would you look at that? Isn't that nice? What a, what a lovely, tranquil something or other we're, we're currently observing. There we go. Right. Should we get on with business? Uh, business is good. Uh, it is now 1924. Uh, I've moved forward a little, and, uh, and that is, uh, that's possibly evidenced by some of the vehicles that I'm using, although I can't really remember what's new and what isn't these days. I've upgraded the docks here at Raccoon City, and, uh, and as you can see, we've got a healthy amount of fuel waiting to go out to the, uh, to, well, the two connections that we have now. Uh, I've increased the number of ships that we're running, and, uh, and that's all going nicely as well. What else have I done? I don't know. I've spent a bit of money, but largely I've been paying off my loan. Uh, so the loan's now down to 17.5 million, which means I've got 12.5 to play with. Jolly good. Uh, this year, with half the month of December left to roll, looks pretty likely we'll be in profit uh, just about. But that's having spent uh, 2.5 million on new vehicles. And, uh, and probably a couple other bits and pieces as well in there. Uh, but uh, you know, overall, it's, uh, it's panning out really rather splendidly. Um, the, the whole network, well, there we go, you just have one arrive, look. So we're 1.8 now up for the year, and, uh, and that's lovely, 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 lovely. Oh, we might even crack 2 million. I don't think we will, because we're about to roll over the year. Lovely, 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 lovely. The Dornier Mercur is available, as is the Flying Scotsman. Crikey, we better get some steam on the go before the steam era is beyond us. Uh, but 1.64 in the bank after the annual rollover, that's not a bad place to start. And you'll see, look, 262 is now my uh, my loan repayment each year. We made 10.8 million in, uh, in income last year. So zooming out a smidge, you'll see Raccoon City passengers flaming galore there in raccoon city and uh, and actually that's the that's the story just about everywhere and what i really want to be doing now is starting to connect all of these play look at this i mean it's obscene the amount of money i'm leaving on the table by not tending to such things however that's not what i'm going to do uh, in today's episode probably some more shipping probably Now, I do hear what you're saying, uh, and frankly, uh, I completely agree with you, is that, you know, why would you do more shipping when clearly you can afford, afford to set up another train line? Uh, and that's because this will be the last thing I build before re-enabling the four times times time mod, because I think I'm at about the point now where, uh, where time is an ally rather than an, rather than an opponent. Uh, which makes absolutely no sense. Uh, anyway, the opportunity that presents itself, we have two to play with or to choose from. We either score uh, a bit of stone here from just outside Minas Tirith, and I think that's the only that's the only quarry on the map, isn't it? I think it might well be. Uh, or we start mucking around with lumber. Now, well, lumber is part of a much more complicated chain, so we're not going to bother with that. The other choice would be to go with food. Now, food is one of the easiest things to make money out of. And frankly, that's what I'm looking to make money out of. We already have connectivity to a couple of ports set up. So it's simply a case of where are we going to process the food because uh, that's, that's what's going to make us the bucks. And it's outside Rapture, which is rather marvellous because we've already plumbed in some train working there. So assuming I can get a port... And I haven't checked this, so uh, that might be an assumption too far. Uh, but assuming I can get a port somewhere around Rapture, uh, we uh, we're in we're in for a in for a rare old time. Now, the one thing we're unlikely to see is the ship actually arrive for its maiden voyage, and I'm not particularly liking the looks of. Let's pause here so we don't rattle forward in time any further than we need to. Um, yeah, I'm not seeing anywhere that's immediately lending itself towards uh, a nautical landing. And since the... Whoop, yeah, ah, gently, gently. Right, 
Now, here's a go. So if you think about it, the food is coming from over there, right? Generally speaking, draw a really big circle so we definitely don't miss it. Um, and then it's going to want to go to probably this one. Now, we do have a third which is there that we could play with. We don't want, so what I don't want to do is be putting the port out here because effectively you're then coming back on yourself and you'll lose a little bit of time slash money as a result of that. The perfect place to go would probably be about here, I would have thought. Well, it's only perfect if you can actually put a docks in there, isn't it? Now then, unlike our previous endeavour of this kind, today we're going to place the right one first time. We're also going to remember how you rotate things in this game because you play so many games now that you have to rotate things that frequently you forget which one you're supposed to be using. Uh, what the, oh, hello. Right, we're in business. Okay, well, if it will fit in there quite nicely, then it will fit in there quite nicely. So that looks... I just want to see how many, how many sort of choices of placement we've got here. Not many. We're going to kick off with three terminals. We're not mucking about... Uh, we'll uh, we'll start bold and uh, and get bolder. I think right. Have at it. We're in business. Of course, what I also need to do is make sure that we're we're equally in business at the other end of the equation. <clears throat> Can't rule it out that we're not. Now we could use our existing port here, which would be great. The only thing we'd need to do is build some kind. Oh, I want to build a train to do this. We could build a train line to uh, to whip it down over this kind of archipelago that we've got going on here, and uh, and then deliver. Oh, it's that's. I mean, it's lovely, but that's a monsterly large project. Monster. It's uh, it's also a uh, an adjective. Uh, yes, it is a, a monstrously large project. That one. So what we're, I think we're going to look at is uh, is somewhere over here to get it done. Somewhere over here to get it done now we're gonna have as long as i can place somewhere on this on, on this kind of coastline here uh we're gonna have new new york and uh, and los santos to uh, uh to deliver to out the other end which is great because it means that the ships will actually be fully loaded going both ways big bucks is what we're going to get out of that now we should only need we don't need the the three terminal approach to this unable to align the terrain you amaze me I think you might be able to align the terrain if I were to do a bit of sculpting on that. But that's going to be half a million quids worth of sculpting with no proof that it will actually work afterwards. We'll see if we can't get it in first time. Uh, and then, uh, hold on, that looked like it might have done. No it, no, it didn't. No, no, it didn't look like it might have done. No, you were wrong. Oh dear. Well, I mean, these things these things are sent to test us, but uh, we're not uh, we're not done yet. We haven't given up. I will tell you what would be nice. Let's let's switch to one terminal and see if that makes life any easier. Uh, in there wouldn't be too bad. I mean, yeah, we'll have to pay a bit more for it, but I'm going to need to do a bit more flattening. Uh, the only issue I see is if we build too far from a farm, uh, that we might end up with. Uh, you know, some, some excess. Yeah, I know we don't really want to build there because the ship has to turn around to dock, which is no flipping use to me at all. Uh, what, in there? what about in there? Although I do kind of like the uh, the secret pirate cove kind of feel that you get out of that. Yeah, come on. All right, look, just go real quick because sometimes by going real quick, you stumble upon a bit and go, hold on, was that a yes? Oh, it would be, oh this would be lovely if we could get in there. But I think uh, the phrase fat chance comes to mind. No, no way. Oh, that would be... If we can get terrain alignment collision only, I might be able to fix that. But I think there's absolutely no chance of getting a ship in here. I haven't given up yet. I'll give up in a moment. We're going to make this work. It's going to work. I, I mean, I've placed a dock now. I've committed funding to this enterprise, and therefore, this is going to happen. Unable to align to terrain, to 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 easy for me to say. Uh, don't really want to go any further that way. Anywhere around here would be peachy. I think I'm just going to have to flatten some out. All right, in which case, we'll go for our A choice, which is about there. Okay, all right, that shouldn't be so bad. All right, bring up the smoothing tool. There we go. And uh, 
pump up the volume and hit it. Right, there we go. As we don't need to do much. Just, we'll, we'll spend 100k in the first part. And if that isn't enough, what we'll do is we'll knock the height down on some of this and give it another go. Uh, see? The maestro with the smoothing tool strikes again. Uh, 267, that's uh, acceptable. I'll take it. Thank you. I have built the right one. It, just as well we double check that afterwards, huh? Uh, right, now we'll bring all of this lot down a little bit as well because I want to get a, uh, a truck stop in by the side. Later on, Again, we're, we're, we're stuck with the same problem as before, which is uh, if you were to run a, uh, a train line from hither to yon, you'd make, you'd make less money than using trucks to do the same job because uh, the train is so expensive to run pound for pound that, uh, that you end up making less buckage. Now, if I were to change, change up the process and instead bring the food down by train from here, you would make mad cash, son, as they say. Um, especially if you were to then transport food back the opposite direction to deliver to New, New, New Vegas. Uh, then, yes, there would be the bucks in it for you. We, we've clearly got a bit of a landslip going on here, but I, I don't think it's going to deter us from, uh, from this endeavor. I, although, part of me says, delete it, right? Get rid of the land, and then, uh, and then do it again. And you kind of go... Really? There's no guarantee it'll work? All right, we'll try it. Yeah, I know. I'm at the stage now where I'll throw a couple hundred grand away just to try and make something look a little bit better. And, of course, once I've done this, there's no promise that it won't uh, immediately clip straight through again. Although, if we pull out a little further... Good luck, everybody. See? It was worth it. It's now beautiful. I just have to be very careful with the smoothing tool that I don't put it back in again. Right then. Okay, so roading up, we're going to go straight line. It will be a tunnel. This is going to cost about 300 grand, I reckon. Uh, ooh, maybe maybe even more than that. Uh, actually, before we do that, let's, uh, let's pull a little bit of road out this way. Uh, that's a very little bit of road. How, how little is that? What have I just placed? This is uh, plaster veg, which well, sorry, plaster veg, uh, which is a uh, road in German. It's not uh, right. We want to be a small country road. At how exp how how small? Not too small. Let's put some down. That's got a little bit of uh, you know a little bit of modernity to it. We'll keep it on the flat. Now I will then smooth this side out a little bit. <clears throat> Well, I'm going to need to. If we're going to put our truck stop in here, then uh, then that needs to be done. Why are you tracking? Ah, that's very strange. My ability to place tool is, is, is kind of migrating from my, my cursor a little. Don't worry, I'm only letting it bother me. I won't, I won't let it interfere with the show. We'll, we'll muscle through somehow. Why are you now raising the altitude there? Don't do that. That's not what we want. Uh, what we want is to, is to get our truck stop in. And uh, the other thing that occurs to me is that actually I probably ought to get some more truck stops going, uh, as in d download a mod or two that will uh, that will just amp the uh, the truck stop variety that we currently have. All right, well that hasn't worked, has it? Look, you've you've got a lot of smoothing to do if you're going to get it in there. I mean, you'll you'll be able to plumb it on the end, possibly. No, no chance. Not a chance. Okay, right. Well, in which case, we're going to have to use the tool that I don't like using. Ooh, let's switch this to medium, shall we? There we go. Keep it going. A bit more. Keep it going. We're going to, well, I'm happy to use a tunnel to get up there, and it's going to be expensive, but uh, the amount that this will pay off uh, will make the cost of setting it up in the first place pale into insignificance. Right, let's see if that works a little better. There we go. Right. The, the, the trick to any of that is gentle once you start mucking around with your uh, with your, your downgrading the, the altitude of things it's it's about being gentle with it otherwise it gets away from you and you make a mess and no amount of, of smoothing will get you out of that hell hole uh, we're not quite there Unfortunately, it did look as though the uh, the area that was that was causing the drama was on the other side. So let's do a little bit more. I mean, honestly, aren't we aren't we past? This is my other voice now speaking. Uh, aren't we now past 
the point where people give any kind of a monkeys at all about you being unable to fit stuff into the terrain. Look, I find it to be one of the more compelling areas of of something. Um, all right, is there a plan B we could do here? Uh, what I'm wondering is if I got rid of the road, there's loads of space in there, maybe I could just plonk it alongside here and then we'll we'll do something else with the road. There, you do get a few more options in terms of road placement, but, you know, getting the fat boy in, there you go, see, like that. That's the That's the trick. That's the bit that matters. Okay, well, providing that doesn't lead to too much slope, why not have that? You've got a little bit of subsidence going on under the corner. Well, that's okay. That's nothing that can't be concealed with the faithful tree gun. Too much curvature. That's new. Okay. Really? Too much curvature? You don't say. That's not something I usually encounter. Uh, right, yeah, do that. Do this. Do not say too much slope. Okay, can we go a bit further? Uh, uh, yeah, let's, let's, let's do that. And then you, up onto here. Construction's not possible. Construction flaming is possible. Uh, switch to small country road. You are less fussy. There you go. Bit of a slope down there. But frankly, people will be bringing hand carts full of comestibles uh, down, the, uh, down the path here. And therefore, that it's downhill. They'll go, oh, that's lovely. Or they could have they could have done a terrible job with that, but they didn't. Right, let's uh, de-ugly some of this. Just de come on, you're supposed to be de-uglying. All right, and then uh, let's just uh, apply a thousand years worth of natural wind erosion. There you go. Right, don't get carried away. Remember, you're paying for this out of your pocket. Uh, right, okay. So moving on, we now going to go. Whoa, hey, like that half a million. Do me a favour. Uh, keep going. Keep going. We, we, we might as well make sure this is going to meet up at the other end. 600, 700,000 to you, Gov. Yes, well, let me tell you how much I'm not going to pay for this. And also, part of me wonders whether I should go uh, super highway immediately or whether we should worry about that later and just try and keep this cheapish. Well, it's just a way of applying the... Uh, the alternator-ish there, because uh, full-on cheap is not something that is uh, that is going to happen in this dojo. Yeah, you might have to go straight uphill as well. Oh, Lorks. Oh, Lorks indeed. You can hear some people muttering, carrying on about the flaming contour tool about now, to which I say, no! No, I will not accept for a moment that which makes the landscape hideous to look at. It's not very nice contour at all. Might be practical, but since when do I care about practical? Right, there you go, 70k to finish it off. Marvellous. And then, because we're going to end up with a bit of a lumpy section here, and because I want to upgrade the road anyway, I'm going to what exactly? I'm going to bulldoze the road, man. There you go. See, watch me occurring. Yeah, you really are occurring, aren't you? Oh, I'm, I'm definitely occurring here. Right, okay. Well, we're going to go with this one because it's the closest. So uh, so next job is to uh, is to whack in another truck stop here. Now, we don't need the big one there. We can go with the little one. The only reason we need the big one at the other side, for those of you who haven't already got with the program, is uh, so, that, uh, so that deliveries have their own separate darkness to play with. There you go, 40k. You sure you're going to be able to get another bit of road on there? Reckon? Okay. Here we go. There it comes. See? See? Yeah, but we don't want to go up. We want to go down. Ooh, that's quite down, isn't it? Yeah, but I think you're going to need to go quite down in order to reach the road. Oh, no, 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 no. I think we'll be all right. Okay. All right, how far can I pull it over that way? How about not at all? You really are going to spend a lot on uh, on roads here, aren't you? You appear to have been down... Uh, I, I mean, I'm not judging. I'm just saying. You appear to be down by the best part of three million. Two million? I only started with two and a half. All right. And you're comfortable with that. Oh, you betcha. All right, that one, three, eight, three, eight, one. This one... 421, but you do get one of those hillside tunnels that I'm quite fond of. 
Yeah, but you could build that later when you inevitably remodel things later on to be a bit more spectacular when you've got a bit of money. All right, well, we'll do that then. There you go. Still get a hillside tunnel. Only cost me 350k. That's all good. And then from about here, we will rock this in a line that connects up to there. You sure about that? Apparently I'm not. I, I thought I was. But uh, but no, apparently th that's not one we're allowed to do. Why, why are you not snapping onto there? All right. Whoa, hang on. No, we're going to need that. Uh, right, okay, try it again. From there, down there. Mm, from here, up. Yeah, yes. How about from there, that way? Okay, now you're thinking. Right, straight line. It never looks straight. There you go. And then... Uh, is there... Why are you... Why are you fighting me on snapping here? Right, now we'll go down. That's not going down. Shh, don't worry, precious, I've got this. Uh, there you go, look at that. That's nice. That's expensive. Yeah, you. well, you are building quite a large embankment there, so maybe you need to go down just a little bit more. Okay, but keep it, keep it genteel, right? And then up to, actually, let's, uh, I want to go beyond that. No, 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 you can't go beyond that. Okay, all right. All right, up, up. There you are. Right, I die, I'm I'm a, I'm of two minds whether any of this is is a, a worthwhile use of my time or not. Given that it's likely to look flipping awful when I'm done anyway. Uh, how does that look in terms of similarity of altitude? It looks all right. Mm, yes, and then if you actually knock this back. I am spending way more time on this than I had intended, but I've I've come up with an idea of actually trying to make it look presentable, uh, and uh, you'll be the you'll be the judge of whether I've accomplished that or not in a moment. Right now, what you don't want to do here is go uphill because that's how you get lumps. Instead, if you keep it on the flat, then when you connect, whoop, gently, uh, when you connect this back up to that, you should have very little terrain manipulation going on which means that actually you do end up with a reasonably flat T-junction. And thus, a reasonably flat T-junction was accomplished. Right, around the corner. How did you pronounce accomplished there? Quite, nobody noticed. Uh, right, around the corner. Yeah, there we go. Right, now wang that onto there, and that will be golden. I'm going to need to upgrade all of that. I'm gesturing vividly at the screen right now. Um, I'm going to need to connect all of that up, but I'm going to wait until we've got our first delivery because to do it before then seems, you know, part futile, part petty. Now then, what's going to happen here? Hideous. Hideous is what's going to happen here. Well, yeah, okay, well, do the same trick then. You just demonstrated how to do this well. How about you do this well? I am... Very judgmental today. Right. Flat. Right. This. Onto the flat. Like that. Et voila. What's this then? Well, that's that's all part of the a voila kind of methodology. Shut up and do it again. If you back up a little bit further, you'll make it look a little bit nicer. So you say... How much modification have we got going? Uh, that doesn't look too bad. And Ave voila. Okay. Right. Now, same again. Ave voila. Very good. You're going to persist with this, are you? Don't try and make it a thing. You're unable to do so. Right. And Abiento. Right. Smashing. That's about right. Isn't it? Yeah. That looks good. Okay, so we've got... Ooh, hold on. We might have... Have we got two or three? I think Vegas is a little bit far. Uh, we definitely haven't got these two jokers down there. But there is nothing to stop us doing a, a stop-off on the way back. Or maybe a dedicated service or something. No, keep it simple to start with. If the objective is to make a bunch of cash, then keep it as simple as possible. Right, turn that off and then uh, let's start talking routes, shall we? Roots, 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 roots. Uh, so, number one, that one, this one. 
Okay, hold on, let's give these some names. Uh, what are you? You're the Stay Puffed Corporation. Of course you are. Okay, right, so, well, well let's, uh, let's call it uh, Stay Puffed. Right, and then down here, this is New New York Exchange. I forget what I call it, but I'm going to go with nautical, because I definitely used the word earlier. Uh, stick with it. No, that's what you want to call this. Uh, okay. Apparently, <laughs> this is New New York. That's Los Santos. Uh, well, I, you know, who's to uh, who's to say which is true? Evidently, something of a border dispute is occurring in the uh, in the current times. Uh, that one, call it something else. Port. Oh, hold on. Port of New New York. There you go. That just that just feels right. Feels good. Feels uh, feels like everything's humdinging. Um, right now, then let's. Uh, you know, how many do you want? Uh, one, two, three. Now it's important. Well, uh, it's debatable, but I like to set demand at the same time as I set things in motion. Now you do have to ride the cost of that for a bit, but uh, the upshot, theoretically, in in principle is that uh is that you, you you start paying your money a little bit quicker right okay so what are you i've forgotten all my naming conventions i mean it's not like I've, i recorded you know just a couple of days ago or anything or that my mind is is sadly departing the scene uh what have we got here oil transfer okay in which case you're going to be uh food transfer food transfer crop crop Tr crop transfer nautical which is a brand new naming convention freshly on the scene for 2019 uh, or 1925 depending on which you prefer uh, right this one you're going to be from hither to now i'm optimistic here son that you're going to tell me that uh, you got you've got good coverage over the commercial district bring up the map Oh, look at it. Couldn't be a better placed if it tried. Uh, yep. All right. Good stuff. Uh, right. So from Los Santos San to this. Yeah, I know. I'm beyond caring. Uh, I will drop stuff at a bus stop now. Yeah, watch me fly. Uh, right. Here we go. Let's, uh, this is going to be commercial. Yes. Los Santos. And then food. Feels similar, if not identical, to the scheme that I have previously operated on, under, uh, beyond. And then from uh, from here, Los Santos to New New York, this stuff. I mean, that's that's exactly well. That's perfectly placed as well. So we'll we'll do that too. This is this is all this is all looking good. Commercial uh, New New York, yeah, food, right. Okay, grand. That's those done. I'm going to buy myself uh, some presents just to get that going. We'll buy. We'll we'll stick uh, two on each. Nowhere near enough. But all we're looking to do in this first instance is drive a little bit of demand. So we have the choice of the Mac, uh, eight capacity. Okay, and fifty grand, worth bearing in mind, or sixty-five grand for eight. And you kind of go, well, surely the Mac. Yeah, but a Mac only does nineteen uh, miles per hour, and the Benz does twenty-five. And uh, speed wins. Right, one, two, you lot go on to commercial something or other, New York. Right, good. And then buy another two and set this one onto Los Santos. Uh, food. Right, good. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Then you're going to need some more, aren't you, to actually do the, the heavy lifting and you're out of money. It's loan time. Right, I'm not messing around. We'll take out all of it. And then we'll pay, where are we, March? Yeah, I've got time. Uh, and then we'll pay some of it back when I've finished buying everything. Uh, what do you want? Let's, let's open our bidding with six. Okay, bolt, I like it. Uh, and you are going on to uh, oil transfer, yeah. Crop transfer is what we called it. Crop transfer nautical. Which is okay as a name. However, what I have omitted to do is state where in the universe it is. However, given that each of these islands is, uh, you know, is is locked to one kind of freight type, then uh, you can you can just uh, you can just whistle. 
All right, now, before we move over to the other end of the line, we'll, uh, we'll set up the actual port-to-port -port route. And, I, and this is already kind of working out the way that I'd hoped, in that uh, we're going to end up with a lot of ships doing this. And that's down to there. Rapture East. Port of New York to... Uh, I don't know. I, I, well, let's let's call it uh, Rapture Island. And you say, but it's not an island. And I go, yes, that's the joke. You think it's uh, yeah, yeah. It certainly sounds like it could be a joke, but you have no way of knowing. Uh, right. What do we call the last one? Naming conventions are important, children. Uh, shipping oil. Right. Ah. Right. Okay. Thank you. Uh, shipping. Uh, shipping. And this is going to be food, and therefore, because food is the resource of which we are shipping, it is going to be wrapped to uh, an NY, right? Because despite the fact that the origination point is up the other end, this is the point at which the magic happens. Okay, got me? Right. Now then, I think three is the number, and the number is three. Uh, we're going to get them rolling now before we build the, the truck infrastructure at the other end. Look at this. What's with this wiggly, flipping navigational business you've got going on here? Uh, I don't, I'm not sure I approve, but uh, nobody cares. Now then, where did I leave the uh, the harbour port dock part? The part. The shipyard. The mega city. City. City, city one. Shipyard. Contr control yourself. Oh, that's an accident waiting to happen, that one. What do you mean I've only got a Klondike? What about the Zoe Roaster is 1850, which is obviously rubbish. Uh, the Wilhelm is rubbisher. The Klondike is also quite rubbish. How is it I've got a bulk flipping oil tanker that's better than this? Oh, hold on, 1900. No, see, that only does crude oil. Uh, we don't, that's, that's no help to us. I guess we're Klondiking then. Well, Klondike or death. Uh, right, how many do you want? Well, I think we'll probably go four. All right, that's exciting. It is. It's bold. Uh, that's two million quid you just spent there on something that, as yet, hasn't made you any money and isn't going to for some time. Right, that is now in motion. Should we watch one? I know we want to. All right, well, well, let's speed through the dull bit while nothing happens and you went sit there expectantly waiting for a ship to emerge and move straight to the point where the ship emerges. Is it ocean going? I don't know. It sits very, 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 very low in the water. That could just be part of the launching system. I mean, there's nothing not to like about a paddle steamer, though, is there? Look at that, sailing into the future. Leonardo DiCaprio nowhere to be seen. Beautiful. Loving it. Magical. What's the betting at a brand new ship's available in, like, 20 minutes? Oh, that's nice. There you go. It's got, it's got my name written on the side of it, look. Uh, right, okay. It looks like they're going to actually diversify in, uh, in destination as well, which is even better. Uh, so, basically, the clock is now against me. I've got only the six hours it's going to take this one to travel down to Rapture. So, uh, whew, better get a wriggle on, eh? Uh, right. So, next job is truck stop obviously. Now, I think this end may be well uh, better suited to flinging a train on a bit later on, uh, but we're not in a fling a train on it kind of a place at the moment. You kind of go, you got 10 million quid, what's the problem? I'll, I'll tell you what the problem is. Yes, I have 10 million quid, but that's basically the price of a flipping train consist at the moment. Uh, it, it, we are in a, an expensive era, chums. That's a lovely bit of bridge you built there. Stop it. There you go. Right, just just build the embankment up. Don't get flipping complicated about things. Do a bit of that. Right, and then uh, and then wang this around here. Too much curvature again. Oh, I don't know why you hate me. Uh, I have no I have no concept why why you find freedom so offensive. Uh, right, let's anybody. Bueller. Anybody? No? Okay. Alright, well. Then we just go with plan B. 
in that way that is so often the case. And we'll go from there up to here, and then we'll do that. Don't care if it's ugly, because nothing's going to... Oh, God. All right, hang on. There are limits, though. I mean, come on, seriously? You expect me to tolerate that? You can think again there, sunshine. Uh, and also, I'm going to need to do some healthy remodeling here later on, because uh, this is my truck route. Right, okay, we've got that in. Now, let's upgrade it to the slightly more robust medium country road. And he kind of go, wait, 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 I didn't want you to do that. I go, yeah, but I just did, didn't I? I took you by surprise. I used an alternate tool to make it happen. And now you can be sad and vexed. Uh, right, where are we actually going to connect this up to? Where are we going to connect this up to? Oh, there's your processing plant. Okay, so... From the processing plant, realistically, we've really only got uh, we've really only got Zion, uh, Rapture here that's in range. However, Elmore and Zion are in range. What if we went? Yeah, I see you there. Name of plant, the Soylent Corporation. However, uh, McDowell's looks way more interesting in terms of its ability to reach other towns. There's the cliffs at Elmore. So I think that's what we'll do. We'll we'll go for this second uh, food processor here, and uh, and that might do the trick. We're then going to have to do some healthy remodeling in order to get uh, any kind of a connection at all. This, this is all this is all panning out horribly. Uh, get rid of that. Right. Yeah. Build a flat bit of road. Yeah. Wait. That's it. Apparently that's flat. Oh my giddy aunt. Uh, and then go down the hill, or not. If you if you can't be bothered going down the hill, then that's that's fine too. And then we rock it under the bridge. Uh, apparently a tunnel is required there. That's going to be inexpensive, I'm sure. Uh, yes. Will a, oh no, no tunnel required, which is a bit of a shame. But actually, it still gets quite a nice view. So uh, so that's that's fine. And then the last leg is going to do something pretty ruddy dramatic by the looks of it. And if we crow fly it, now that's all bridge all day. Too much slope. Okay, well, we don't want too much slope. Could you connect up to there? Uh, oh, ah, uh, hmm. Yes, that's not really how a person would build that, though, is it? Oh, but you could put a, you, you could viaduct that thing. No, stop it. Uh, don't get carried away with the uh, with the abilities. Instead, what we shall do is we shall uh, we shall thread it along the landscape here, and we'll do a bit of bridge work as we go. All right. So, how's that? That's a bit that's a bit more modern than realistically I'd be I'd be thrilled about. Also, it's doing that thing where you can see through the texture. It is, isn't it? And that one is even worse. Yeah. It is. Oh, have we got have we got modern available to us? Well, that seems wrong. No, no, no. We're not ready for modern yet. I'll tell you what, though. Box girders could be a no, no. Look, you can see through it again. Well, that's not good enough. Why can I see through it? Furthermore, yeah. Ah, Jolly Green. Jolly Green never lets us down. Jolly Green is ready for a party. Jolly Green gets the job done. Right, and then we'll do a bit of curvature around there. I would have quite liked it to uh, to alternate between having pillars and uh, and intersecting with the ground as per normal. But you know what? I'm okay with it. See, that's that's quite nice. And then uh, then do the final hop, and don't complain about it. Right, switch that over to be jolly green. Where are you? There you go. Oh, that's tasty. There you go. And what we have accomplished there is what we in the trade call tasty. Right, magical. Uh, I'll tell you what we will also do. We'll get rid of all of this. Yeah, that's it. Good. And then we'll drive past there. And then uh, the, the trucks will go, why are we driving straight past Soylent? And they're going to go, oh, there'll be a good reason. Clearly, they didn't pay the, uh, the, the necessary bribes to ensure that they got the contract. Oh, that's, that's going to be a disappointment for their shareholders, isn't it? Gonna go, yeah, it probably is. Right now, because I've told it not to, uh, 
not to follow its own nose and instead to do some kind of cockamamie flaming land adjustment business. Uh, it's building it's building lumps where lumps are not requested. Hey, I'll do that. That looks good. Right. It's now got even worse for the Soylent Corporation. We're, we're starting to build like a castle wall here to stop them interfering with our shipments. Can't be sailing with that, though. There you are. That's average. Yeah. Why are you wasting money? Because I'm making money now, and therefore the money is there to be spent to make life better. Uh, right, now let's, uh, let's get the tiddler back out. We're going to connect it up even though we don't need it. About there. What's that done to our road? Let's put that in it. Take it out again. All right. Okay. See, because you've you've not done the flat road trick. I haven't, have I? Has that broken it again? Yep. All right, Soylent Corporation, go without. You had your chance. I gave you the opportunity to be part of a bold new future, and you said, no, I'm not interested in any kind of future, bold or otherwise. So, oh, well, it sucks to be you then, doesn't it? Right, here we go. Come on, I need to get a wriggle on. Let's, uh, we need to get to the punchline of today's episode. You know, you're, you're trying to stick to 30 minutes an episode, and, and here we are at 40 some odd, and, and, uh, and life is not getting any better. All right, train! Uh, and, uh, and then... Are you really going to work your way around there? Would it not make more sense to peel off from here and come round to a truck stop there? It would totally make more sense, but I still have to put in the uh, the highway connection. Although, arguably, I probably don't have to put that in, but I think I probably will. That's a little bit... Uh, that's a bit better. How's that one? Is that better or is that worse? It's close. Put it in. And we'll 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 make it look better a bit later on. Uh, what's that? Oh, it's the class nine thousand flipping neck time. Really is marching, isn't it? Um, okay, right. Take that out from there. Are you flat there, or are you going to put some kind of lumpy, dumpy, humpy, frumpy in there? No, you're you're all golden. Okay, good. Right, we have a. What do you mean the terrain alignment collision? Oh, this is going to be the the side piece of the... Yeah, you see, I'm colliding with the ruddy... What's it? Okay, well, that's alright. You can just knock that back a bit. Come in at a better angle. It's the change in coloration of the grass is the giveaway of, uh, of where one can and where one may not interfere with things. Wouldn't you prefer to have a straight line there? Yeah, I would. How about that? Yeah, okay, that's a little bit better. All right, good, and onto that. Right, we'll make it look better. We will make it look better. You keep saying that, but uh, thousands will not believe you. Right, stick it on there. Yeah, 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 yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Good. Perfect. Uh, and uh, and then where are we? Can we see the ships on yonder horizon? No, time is still on our side. So, uh, you are McDowell's, right? Okay. Uh, so, this is uh, McDowell's. Right, it's route time. So, we're going to want three routes out of four routes from McDowell's. Uh, bring up the, uh, the, the radial map of colourfulness. And uh, here we go. Right, so, uh, four. One, two, three, four. All right, thank you. Uh, number one, McDowell's two. Uh, this one, maybe? Okay. To Rapture. Okay, so this is now commercial. Yeah. Commercial. Uh, Rapture. Is that what you want? Sure, why not? Uh, I, I'm not sure you're anywhere near the no, Food. All right, shut up. And then uh, for my for my next trick, uh, we're going to do Elmore. It's a bit of a hike. Uh, you don't actually have an easy connection to Zion, neither. Uh, you might want to fix that, or you might not get much demand. Well, that's an easy one. Uh, let's do... Well, it doesn't really matter what order you do it in, actually. Uh, from that to that, that's going to need a few trucks on it to keep the uh, the turnaround time on. And also, you might be able to make it as far as there by truck before you, you make your route too long. 
Uh, commercial. Elmore. Food. Okay. Next. And then from here to easy now. There. Okay. Oh, that's not even a that's not even a proper station. That one is. I've I've, I've neglected to name it. Uh, commercial. Yeah. What's that called? Zion. Food. That's enough. I mean, this is that's going to be enough to drive demand uh, to get this thing actually uh, actually you know progenicating. Uh, and then from our uh, upper rapture, no, that's the rapture nautical, pal, as you well know. Uh, let's put this a colour that we can see. Hot pink. Yeah, it's all looks good. This bit of road's going to see quite a bit of congestion, so I'm definitely going to need to revisit that at some point. Um, and that's going to be... Uh, ooh, ah, is it, though? Transit. Did I use transit or transfer? Let's go with transit. And that's going to be... A, ooh, uh, oil trans... I can't remember. I'm looking it up. <sighs> you only used it about five minutes ago, you know? Be quiet. Oil transfer. That's what we went with. So this is going to be food transfer. And then what? What do we put after that? Oh, I see. Rack navel. Gotcha. So this is going to be wrapped navel. Close enough. Or whatever. Now then, put some stuff on that, and then we can uh, we can go and see where we're up to, and hopefully that will start to kick production off. And you need a truck, a, a, a train depot, truck depot, truck depot. Keep saying the words. Uh, there must be one somewhere on this map. There's one up here in Toontown. Fine, that's that's a person stop. You want that? There you go, the Toontown Road Depot. Uh, right, what are we thinking? Uh, I think uh, six to Elmore, six to Zion. Three to Rapture. This is not inexpensive. There. Amigo. Did we let it run past the end of the year? Yes, we did. Oh, so much for that. Ah, you, you are speedy at this, aren't you? I'm really not. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, two. When I say Elmore. Uh, set line, commercial Elmore food. Go. Thank you. And execute right don't close you've closed the depot you charlie uh bring that back that's a vogue vehicle bring that back right keep it open this time one two three four five six you are going to zion zion don't close it and then yes uh rapture we said three one two three Go to Rapture. Yep. And don't close it. And then, how many on this? Let's go six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you are trans uh, food transfer. F, 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 F. Food transfer. Wrapped navel. All connections made. We are now rolling. And nothing is going to happen for a little while. Uh, this is the place where we won't see anything happening at all, ever. Although we will now track along and try and find the first ship. I've been Colonel Failure. And uh, you've been a delight. Hold on. Get it done now and then you've done it. There you go. So that all in all, in all uh, we earned a little bit of cash. What did we do last year? 11.1 1 in last year. Groovy. That's, that's most acceptable. Uh, as long as that number keeps going up, then I am a happy camper. Um, but we started out with 12 and a half to play with, maybe a little bit more. We ended up with less than that, and that's life. All right, we're just going to have to get a wriggle on here. Where are we going? What are you? Your oil, presumably. Full load. Good. Uh, we could also, yeah, we could. We could stick another port uh, for Arakeen, and I think that's that's something you are going to see more of. In the future is uh, is multiple ports uh, or ports all over the place to actually start setting up some distribution because now that I've got stuff being shipped I thought you lot were going in different locations you turn around and you there you go thanks for nothing lads you kind of go but why are you making us do that surely we would need to uh, 
Uh, we've got to pick some stuff up first. You're, gonna, you're not going to pick anything up yet. It's, it's, this is a long way from working. But when it does work, it's going to be payday. Right then, production zero, line usage no. I've been Colonel Failure. I'll catch you next time. Subscribe to make sure you keep up with the series. This episode's far too long and nowhere near enough happened. I'll be back soon with another one and uh, and you'll be here to see it because you've got nothing better to do with yourself. Frank Fiasco needs replacing. What a disaster. Catch you next time. Maneuvers. Cheerio. Now, after I record an episode of this old transport fever, I usually let it run for five to ten minutes, um, just purely so that I can see how things develop based on what I just built. Now, the here we are, ten minutes after after the, what you just saw, and uh, and uh, the farm hasn't yet kicked off. Not a big worry, but looking at the distance involved, I'm not sure that it's ever going to work. Uh, now it's going to need it's definitely going to need at least at least two more ships um, it, probably in the short term in order to keep the, uh, the the turnaround time down but the turnaround time in itself is not an indicator of uh, of, the, of the distance travel I mean, if you were to put a hundred ships on there the turnaround time might be as little as a minute but uh, you, you'd still have a massive amount of distance to travel. So it could be that this doesn't work in which case I've sunk quite a lot of cash into vehicles that I won't get much use out of. The good news is that those ports, they'll, they'll still have a purpose. And I think the, the solution that might come into play, should the worst arise, is that, uh, is that we use uh, a port-to-port -port uh, solution and then hook up with a train which will rocket it across to the other end of the, of the deal. And then maybe use a centralised port hub to kind of distribute goods from that point on. It's going to be an interesting challenge no matter what, and uh, and frankly, I'm finding this one of the most satisfying maps to play on, simply because it does make you think uh, about everything that you're putting into play. Anyway, if you've not done so already, you know, subscribe and whatnot, and, uh, and I'll be back very soon.